give this one more try. Welcome everybody back to my channel. Uh, today we're gonna be talking about serve reception, uh, specifically just what, what are really good passers in the world doing uh, with, with how they form their platform, where they form their platform, and you know if it's better to, uh, I guess, start your arms together in front of your midline and then move to the ball uh, or the line of the serve, or if it's better to uh, start with your arms apart and uh and then start forming your platform uh, along the line of the serve instead of what you often see kids doing is again in front of their midline and then reaching their platform out to to the line of the serve <clears throat> so what i've done here is i've pulled up this uh this fivb um technical coach library and you can look that up uh, throw it into your your address bar and your internet and and you can find this um, There's written analyses, uh, but what we're going to be looking at is actually going to be the video analysis and today what I want to do is actually look at the uh, The men's game and their liberos because <clears throat> You know the, the serve moves a whole lot faster Okay, and I've made the arguments before that you know humans are humans and most of us are going to have average uh, eyesight and average um, reaction time. And I would argue that, you know, based on a lot of what I've read, uh, even in the, the Major League Baseball um, or just at elite athletics, um, most people tend to have uh, average eyesight. Okay. So, at any rate, we're going to look at Poland's libero. Uh, I'm going to pause this for a second so I can kind of, you know, get you guys looking in the right place. Uh, obviously, here we have number 17, uh, Libero. And what I want us to do is try to pay attention to what he does. Does he form his platform um, together along his midline and then track his arms to the ball? Or does he start his arms apart, keep them apart, and then move them to the line of the serve to, to form his platform? Okay. Hopefully you guys can see it. Uh, if you can't, I will definitely point out what I think I'm seeing. Here we go. You guys catch it? Yeah. Let's watch one more time. Arms apart. What does this button do? Ah, we can go frame by frame. Arms together along his midline. Platform is formed. And he's reaching his formed platform out to the side. Uh, to the serve. To the line of the serve. So let's watch another one. What did you guys see? Arms are out to the side. Platform together. And then to the line of the serve. Great pass. Oh, I messed that one up. Here we go. We'll watch it full speed and then I'll do the frame by frame. Uh, it's the same thing, right? So, arms kind of start out to the side as he's reading. But then as... He forms his platform, it's first along his center line, and then he moves his arms together to the line of the surf. Now, is that better? I don't know. Uh, all I know is that that's what he does. Okay, and we're going to take a look at some of the other liberos that are here 
uh, in a second. But again, we're looking at high level, elite level, um, international pro liberos in the men's game. Um, and, and there you see it. So, yes, is there a debate on whether our arms should, you know, form along the line of the serve immediately or uh, form together um, along our midline and then to the line of the serve? I think maybe ideally in our minds we think maybe it is simpler to form our arms uh, immediately out to the line of the serve. Um, but that's not what we see elite level players doing. You know, and it, it kind of reminds me of the discussion I've had uh, with a number of people about serve receive passing and whether or not we can and should watch the ball all the way into our platform, you know, sort of the, the contact to contact and whether or not that helps. And I've pointed out some research um, articles on uh, A, whether or not that's possible, but B, that even the, even the studies that found it is humanly possible to see the ball the whole time, contact to contact, this was in some studies done in, in cricket batsmen. Even though a few people have shown it's possible, those players chose not to do it. Meaning uh, the strategy of, of watching the ball from the pitcher's release all the way into um, bat ball contact, they chose not to do that. Uh, in the last few feet, uh, they chose... They chose not to keep their eye on the ball, essentially. Um, they chose to use a, a different strategy, and I think that's what we're seeing here. I think what we're seeing is, you know, maybe in our mind, ideally, it would be better or simpler, or we would have some kind of advantage if we would just learn to form our arms along the line of the serve rather than on our midline first and then to the ball. Um, but we don't see that we don't see the best in the world doing that so what does that say what it says to me is that there's there's a better strategy and that better strategy is to let our platform come together and then move as one solid platform um straight and simple you know all that kind of stuff to to the line of the surf and i've spent time teaching you know the the opposite to to have your arms out and then just form your your platform uh immediately on the line of the serve or maybe not immediately but wait until you're you're reaching out to the line of serve to bring your hands together I've taught that, and then when I tried it, I'm like, holy cow, this is hard. This is, is unnatural. Um, and it's not just because it was new and different. Um, it really just felt like um, this foreign strategy and technique that I would never be able to, to become comfortable and confident in doing. Looks like this server really rips this ball. There we are. And I know you can't see his arms, but I think we'd all agree they're, they're on his center line. They're probably together right now. And at this point, you can certainly see his hands together and elbows locked. And he, and he then moves and angles and positions his body and platform on the line of the serve. And that's, and that's what we see. Okay, so I don't know, maybe that's, and, and I haven't watched these videos before, um, before making this video. So let's see what this guy from Brazil does. Arms are probably together now. Yep, hands are together. So, you know, I say early platform. And I say that a lot. 
And I say it because when you get aced, um, when you get aced and it hits your, your, your arms, I'm not talking about when it you know, hits the ground without anybody touching it. When you get aced and it skips off your platform or shanks off your arms, what I see is your arms were late. Your platform was late. Um, and when that ball hit you and bounced, your angle wasn't ready or, or, or close to being ready um, to have that ball hit you. You know, so, so my thought is if you can get your arms together early, when you see a ball that catches you off guard and it's kind of like that, oh, shoot, you know, moment where you don't know where it is, but you can kind of guess and it's going to hit some sort of part of your platform and surface area. Uh, at least when it hits you and bounces, you know, your, your arms, your platform was together or, or ready, you know, for impact. And, and then you maybe stand a better chance to have that ball rebound somewhere within play. Boy, this guy shuffles pretty quick, doesn't he? Anyway, we're not talking about that right now. We're talking about platform coming together. And then setting it on the line of the serve. Where you predict that ball to be. Ooh, good shot. I hope you guys can see this. If you can't, you know, I'll try to I'll try to link these videos or or somehow into the description when I when I upload this. Alright. This guy's got a really early platform. His hands are together like right on, on server's contact. So it's like Form the platform early, read and track and predict, and then begin moving to intercept that ball or to receive that ball. And I think it's worth noting as well, you know, when you're facing, I'll try to play it at full speed. When you're facing a serve that's moving this fast, and even in the women's game or the girls' youth game, the ball is moving it's moving fast. It's all relative, but it is moving fast for them. Can we all agree that sometimes... Well, a lot of times when you're facing a really fast serve, or, or a faster one than you were expecting, your arms and your platform can move faster and get closer to the line of the serve than your feet can. So platform early, platform first, and you know, okay, he makes a really good read and a good first step here. I like that. Probably why he's a pro. <laughs> but I tell you, that is not always going to be possible. And also, I would make this argument that that really early step before he knows exactly where that line of serve is going, kind of misled him. So he's getting in front of that ball, but his platform is way out of position. Look how he drops down and back up and now has to kind of lean and dodge and, and lift his platform up. So I would say he moved a little too early before he had, had enough good information. Yeah, he's like having to move into the general area of the serve and then readjust his platform. Now, I mean, this, on the float serves, it's probably moving and floating a lot and floating late, so I could be totally wrong. All right, next guy. Germany. All right, we won't really talk about that ball. That was like a down ball. Good 
This is an interesting pass. It's kind of hard to see. But, okay. Arms are formed. He did an okay job of getting his body behind that and, and containing the pass. I don't remember seeing Germany in the top three or four teams uh, in the recent years, but maybe in 2014 they were. Oh, here we go. Okay, let's see what happens on this one. Watch it full speed again. Um, that was not it. Was it this one? It was. Yeah, I like this one. All right, I'm gonna pause it and then kind of frame by frame this thing. <clears throat> Ball's in flight. I think what I'm seeing on this is maybe a little bit more of what um, you know coaches who want you to form your platform uh, along the line of the serve and I think the reason for that I don't know if it's a simplified movement but I think it's you know like I say early let's get our, our platform our arms moving to the line of the serve early and I think that's what people are talking about when they want that or when they're teaching their players to do that. And I think we see a little bit of that here, right? So he's got his elbows tucked in close. Arms are apart. And look, that ball is almost to the net. So arms are apart. Starting to come together. And as they're coming together along his midline, you can see his, his shoulders starting to turn. Hands are together, but arms aren't locked. And there, kind of locks it out right on time, just before the ball hits him. Boom, there's the rebound. <laughs> and bad pass. I did not actually see the end of the pass. So, this guy's struggling compared to the other ones. Certainly compared to the Poland uh, libero. You know, and okay, we only have a few to choose from here. But I actually kind of like that was in this in, in this complex because maybe that's saying this is what we either don't want to see or this is just what you're going to see more of when, you, when you're teaching your passers to, you know, keep their arms apart and form it on the, the line of the serve. You know, certainly I can see this guy's wanting to get behind the ball too. And you know, like I said, your your platform's gonna be faster than your feet. You're not gonna <laughs> You're not gonna change my mind on that. Um So be okay with hey, maybe the passer didn't move their feet very much this time. You know? Um but did you get a good result? Did you get a good outcome? And um, maybe not just on one time, but what, take a larger sample. You know, when my passer's feet don't move, you know, are we getting anything good? Okay. Most of you probably aren't gonna be watching still at this point, but let's take a look here at the, uh, the last team. What team is this? France? France is another team that I don't think I've seen um, in the top four in the last couple of years, but still elite. Elite level players. But what, what do we see here? I wasn't actually paying attention. It was too fast for me. Arms are out. Arms are really out. This is a float serve. Arms come together along his midline. Platforms early and locked out. And then he's moved in behind the line of the surf. Nice pass. 
full speed here. Got a top spin. Woo! Okay, what did we see here? I think we might have seen his hands move into the ball a little bit earlier. I mean, this this is a rip by this server. All right. There's contact. Rece receiver's arms are out. Hands are together. Arms are bent. You know, he's certainly moving his arms to the line of the serve. This is a big angle. Hands come apart. <laughs> so look at that. One arm pass. Wow. And it's a pretty good one. This is a perfect example of what we were just talking about. I hope you guys are still watching. Your arms are going to move faster than your feet can take you. And, and to be more clear, your arms can reach farther and get there faster um, and get in the path of the ball faster than your feet can take you there. And even if your feet get you there in time, how much time are you going to have left to, to stick your arms out, to form a platform, to put some surface area um, in front of that ball? We're going to watch this full speed. That thing moved so fast he couldn't even move his feet. I love this. I'm so glad we're doing this video. I might even just clip this. You know, when you're moving, you're not reading. You know, you have to have some sort of still and consistent perspective on the ball. And if you're moving and changing that, um, that that vantage point on the on the action on the serve on the movement on the ball then it it makes it a lot harder to 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 perceive what's happening and and it's kind of it has to happen fast i mean we're talking about perception we're talking about things that happen in milliseconds tens hundreds thousands of a second processes that, that are almost automatic in your in your brain and and so that's fast and and if you're moving and you can't make those kinds of of um reads or at least take in that information and and read recognize react then you're gonna have a hard. then you're gonna have a real hard. you're gonna get aced here <laughs> You're not gonna have a hard time, you're gonna get aced. And I sometimes like to use this analogy with passers and say, you know, when you're moving around a lot, you know, imagine if, if you're holding a book out in front of you, far, and you're hopping around and moving your head and, and shuffling and, and, and moving early, you're not gonna be able to read a damn thing on that page. You're gonna get sick. In fact, the movements are going to be so hard and dizzying, your eyes are probably going to, like, not close, but just shut off so it stops focusing on this blurry thing that, that would make you sick and, and throw up. <laughs> Maybe that was a little extreme. But we'll just watch this one more time, and then we'll, we'll start wrapping things up. Look at that. One arm pass. Love it. I would say his arms, I think, come together here. Yep. The ball's on its way. You can actually see his hands and platform come together. I like how he's tilted that shoulder early. And he continues to track and move. And, you know, I guess this is another good point. Younger 
for sure. Younger, inexperienced players would, would tell this passer, hey, don't stand up. Maintain your posture when you pass. And they say that because that's what they, were, they heard a lot when they, when they played. And so it's just, it's, that's what you do. You tell players to stay level, you know? But if he doesn't stand up here, then he doesn't get his platform in the right spot to make contact with this ball and, and to get a perfect pass. And I know you're going to say, well, he should have moved his feet. No, he shouldn't. He's not passing with his feet. Could moving his feet help? Yeah. Do, does moving your feet always help? No. This is a skill that people have to learn. You have to learn how to manipulate your body, position it a little bit differently, bring your hands up a little higher, your platform higher, so you can get your sweet spot on the ball. You should praise your passer when they do this. Love it. Once again, ball's moving too fast for him to move his feet. But that's okay because he has arms and he has an early platform. He's got good shoulder tilt. He's facing the ball and angling it back towards his target. Good core strength and, and you know, general movement literacy or movement vocabulary so he can be in this position to balance and and pass the ball and then also land uh, safely and absorb his his or distribute his weight and then pops up nice and fast so he can go cover I love it I mean, how many more we got? Slower moving float serve, kind of deep. All right, so it's moving slower. And it's moving far, so we're moving our feet because we have time. We're getting closer to the ball. We're forming our platform early. Some of you are going to say, hey, he... He's, he's forming his platform outside his body on the line of the serve. And I'm going to argue, no, he's not. Look where his feet, look where he's facing. He's facing number nine. He's facing, you know, over here where my, where my cursor is. So relative to where he's facing, his arms are coming together on his midline. Not fully locked out. Oh, uh, I'll admit that. But his hands are together. And he's getting those arms out. Moving early to the, to the line of the serve. And gets them just in the right spot. Right on time. He's able to work that ball back to the center. On net. Perfect pass. Not a perfect, perfect pass, but perfect. So anyway... Thanks for watching the video. Um, you know, my intent is not to like convince you otherwise or say, hey, you're doing it wrong or anything like that. And I'll always tell a player, and I didn't always do this, but certainly I'm, I'm learning and I'm becoming a better coach. If, if you're telling your player to do one thing, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna support you and say, hey, listen to what your coach is telling you, okay? Um, but I certainly want you to, to ask yourself these questions. You know, why do I do what I do? You know, what, why am I coaching what I'm coaching and, 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 and saying what I'm saying? And then what's happening in front of me? When I teach my players to form their arms together and then reach for the ball, what happens? Watch, observe. Take stats.
if you're if you're telling your players to start with their arms apart keep them apart and then move to the ball do that and then watch and 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 see what how what you're saying affects their movements and their performance you want them to track the ball all the way in contact to contact again why once you have your why um then maybe ask yourself now what's happening and what do i see if it helps and it works and it helps and it works and there ain't nothing wrong with that all i'm saying is i like to watch what elite level passers do or setters or hitters and then i like to ask myself is that something that only experts can do only adults can do or is that something that 12 year olds can do 14 year olds can do is it different because of physical limitations does it only work for 18 and older kind of range um once they're done growing or can it also work and apply for 14 15s or 11s 12s we got to ask these questions because you know the game does look different professional game looks very different than the high school game the high school game looks very different than the middle school and for sure the 10 and under game you know so what works for your 18s won't necessarily work or be appropriate for your 11s i get that but uh at any rate if you have any questions please feel free to reach out like comment subscribe that would always be great and help the channel grow and, and reach more coaches in our region um and i think the comments should be on on the video so please um throw down some comments if you agree or disagree uh let's try to keep it you know let's not attack anybody you know i'm, I'm not saying i'm right here i'm just saying here's what i think i'm seeing and i'm just sharing my thoughts with you guys all right That'll do it.